and t to t and. Hello everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin and we all know that fish loves to be accompanied by a fine white wine or a strawberry milkshake. And we love to be accompanied by somebody who brings out the best in us, like a dog. A good melody loves to be accompanied by a pattern that brings out the best in that melody and today we serve a special pattern to do just that. If you like this lesson, don't forget to squeeze your thumbs under the video on the like button. I don't even mind if you really liked it and uh, well, just Let's go and learn it. Welcome. Do you know what all humans are specialists in? If you watch all the right documentaries, you know it's pattern recognition. Without pattern recognition, we would not get through the world. You wouldn't even recognize your own wife or husband or your own house or even your own hands or your piano. Nothing would work without pattern recognition. And compared to the complicated pattern of your wife or your husband, this is easy. Let's start. One and two. This left hand basis, we are in A minor. One and to two and to three and to four and to one. You got me that far, right? So now we add the right hand, you will see altogether it's not that complicated. A little bit fiddly in coordination, but hey, we are piano players. So, and then it's repeating. One and to two to and to one to and to two to and to. One, two, and two, 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 and two. Ah, yeah, this, of course, on the, on the way back, we play this also again. One, two, and two, 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 and two. One, two, one, two, and two, 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 and two. One, two, and two, 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 and two. Yeah, would take you a couple of minutes, but hey, cooking, uh, cooking, Cooking a little, uh, just a simple stew will take you longer. <laughs> Christian. Okay, so so we have this one to one to and to two to and to one to and to two to and to one to and to one to and to two to and to and then after one or two days, play use a little pedal. Already dream away on this pattern, just on A minor. And with all the things happening outside in the world, not that you know, it's it's not too good. We 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 can afford to dream away a little bit, you know. We can take that little uh, these couple of minutes every day to just go and dream away into the dream world of a little. Um, Ostinato, a little meditative piano pattern. And so now we can go to um, uh, to the our little progression, chord progression, but we can also like refine this. Uh, like imagine, now we're playing the A minor, but we could also uh, play this as the E minor seven. Now look what, uh, what happens when we um, replace the octave with the minor seven. Is not too bad, huh? It both has its own, uh, you know, sound, but this is... It's quite an addition, just the seven. And you will see that we can, also in the uh, coming chords, either play the octave or include the seven. Both gives a, gives a, a different uh, sound, and it's just a matter of taste. So now my little progression would be... Uh, um, now we'll play the C major chord uh, and the G chord. But if you accompany a song, you can just play that on other chords as well. We'll show that in a bit. Uh, now we go for, for, for like. And. You see, it's always the same pattern. Again, pattern recognition. Uh, we have the. 
is minor, but we have to start with the uh, third, with a minor third, of course, an A minor and the fifth. And here we have the C major, then of course we take the major third and the fifth. But it's the third and the fifth. And the pattern is the same. Now, see, if um, it's the third degree of A minor, and uh, since you're on my channel, you know that, and we could, so we could trust, we could try at least, the, play the major seven, because uh, the third degree in, um, in minor is a major chord. Let's just, you know, with that knowledge, try that. Oh, oh, mmm, oh. Quite a different sound again, huh? Just adding the seven. So, good option again, and then uh, I suggest, for example, in this case, the... Shall I try the G7? And we could figure out that very often the, uh, the seventh degree is seventh chord fifth. But it might sound strange in a, um, in a piece that has this character, it might sound... Let's just try it. I don't know directly, sometimes I just have to try. So. You can tell, you can tell directly. Uh, 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 seven, go away, ping, here, here. Here we stay with the octave. You can leave the uh, last, uh, when you change, this one, it would be, too, it's too short. You can leave that out. Empty. You see? This way we have time. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And don't play this, because that's too fast here. And if you want to just dwell uh, on that pattern, then, you know, I suggest we, I suggest uh, two more chords then as a kind of B part if you want. Let's say, let's try the, uh, try the F uh, chord here. Sixth degree, or uh, sixth degree of A minor is F major. So we can also try again the major chord. Yeah, 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 why not? Or maybe here. Oh yeah, or maybe this one, let's just try. And E minor, E minor seven. It's a dominant in, uh, in minor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's not a lesson on the dominance here, but you can use the dominant of A minor also. Do the E minor seven. Fifth degree in minor. Ooh, I could stay on here for ages. Until the world gets a better place, I stay on F major and E minor seven. And then you can connect from the F major to the A minor via the G7. And you go from the beginning. Where you almost have a little piece. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. You know, if you have other chords and you have you found a ballad or you have a singer and you have you want to try on different chords, now you know how to do it. Um, let's say the piece is in. Uh, yeah, let's just take something else. Let's just say it's in D. Three, third, the third, the five, and here one, five, eight.
that's so, so easy. Morning has broke. Okay, it's not even the right tune for this one. But you might find a tune. Or whatever. Oh, you have one in C minor, a song in C minor. On C minor seven. Seven, six degrees, A flat major. Yeah, what did I do different here? I used the here, I played, I stayed here on the C minor. I kept the pattern, but here I didn't go to the A flat major. That would be that would be the equivalent moving this to the A flat major here with the three and the five, as you learned before. But I did. And since I know this is also part of um, uh, this is also part of A flat major here. Before we see C major with our old pattern three five and the nine, and then I just continue the pattern with the chord uh, chord notes of F major. I'm so smart, am I not? And the rest is up to you. You know, choose your couple of uh, chords to practice this and then you just, you know, doze away over it. Doze away and enjoy it. You can, it's something you can dive into and you know, dream. I say bye-bye and thank you. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you did, I think I said that in the beginning. Yes, anyway, squeeze your thumbs on the like button, on the like button. And um, it's good to have a couple of patterns in your repertoire to accompany different styles, but even have three or four patterns for different ballads so that not all ballads sound the same. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm the, one of the most active piano channels on the planet. It's true, I have over 400 um, videos, so it's not just uh, me saying that. Um, thanks for watching. Bye from Berlin. Take care. Stay safe.